Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Doug. こんにちは。今日はカルボナーラを少しアレンジしたものを作ります。卵が固まらないように気をつけます。First, slice the chunk of the bacon into 7 mm square strips. This is a cut from the belly or side of the pork and also known as slab bacon. Next, combine the whole egg, grated parmesan cheese, milk, and black pepper. Thoroughly mix the ingredients in a bowl. Now, place the crushed garlic into a pan. And pour in the extra virgin olive oil. Heat the pan on medium heat. When it begins to sizzle, reduce the heat to low and saute the garlic until aromatic. Then add the bacon. Continue sauteing until the bacon is browned and it starts to grow more fragrant. Now pour in the white wine and swirl the pan. When the sauce is slightly thickened, turn off the burner. Next, let's cook the pasta. Boil about 0.7% of a large amount of salt water. The bacon and the cheese both contain salt, so a little less salt was added to the water. Submerge the spaghetti in the pot. Cook the pasta for 30 seconds less cooking time than shown on the package. Now the pasta is ready. Using tongs, place it into the pan. Turn off the burner and begin heating the pan again. Toss to coat the pasta with the sauce. When the pasta is heated, place it into the bowl of the egg mixture. Toss to coat again. If the egg mixture doesn't have the desired consistency, heat the bowl in the remaining hot water. Now it is ready. Place the carbonara onto a plate. Top with the chopped spring onion leaves. Finally, sprinkle on the grated parmesan cheese and black pepper. If you like a richer version of the carbonara, Use whipping cream and egg yolks instead of the milk and the whole egg. Tamago, cheese, bacon, and pirit to croco shoe が効いて美味しいですね This recipe will help to avoid overcooking the egg since the sauce is not heated in the pan. Good luck in the kitchen!